What's up everybody, this is Corey Mission Side Hustle and as you know, I am on a mission to grow $500 to $1 million. Today, we finally buy a trailer for our furniture flipping, our junk hauling, our furniture moving, everything, you name it, we finally buy a trailer. Also, we sell some free furniture that we picked up for free and make some insane profits. You guys are gonna love to see it, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey, real quick, you guys know the drill. If you're new to the channel though, before every episode starts, I always give an update to the current channel net worth. But before I tell you guys what that is, please do me a favor, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, click the bell to follow along on this journey to a million dollars. And also check me out on Instagram too and give me a follow if you wouldn't mind. I post lots of fun stuff on there and it's a lot easier for me to post on Instagram frequently than it is to make videos on YouTube. So definitely check me out if you guys are interested. And as a reminder, the current channel net worth is $10,448. Let's go. Almost forgot my tire. Hey, hello everybody. So we're making a pretty big move right now because we're finally picking up something that's been needing to happen for a while here. We are getting a trailer. It is about time and I think I found a pretty good one. I really was just looking for something like a, a five by 10 roughly with some sort of high walls. I could put some plywood on it to really help out with this junk removal and moving business that we've got going here. But I really like this one. It's a six by 12. It's got uh, medium walls, probably like two feet high but the guy already has the plywood installed for the walls, which is really good. It kind of keeps everything enclosed uh, for the junk removal. So I think this can really help me go to the next level as far as like doing bigger loads and making less trips to the dump, kind of keep those costs down and be able to do more jobs in less time, if that makes sense for you guys. So really excited to get this thing. I think I'm getting it for a pretty good price. I've seen similar trailers going for like five to $800 more. And it's probably because they're a name brand. This one is a homemade one. So I do want to kind of get a good look at it. And uh, this is the kind of trailer, it's a tandem axle. So it's actually more, it's gonna be, it's gonna pull okay on this truck, but it's actually more than this truck uh, even knows what to do with really. So it's something we can kind of grow into if we decide to get a bigger truck one day, but this will help out a lot with the junk removal business that we've got going here, and also help out a lot with the furniture flipping too, as far as like moving items and picking stuff up. So never gonna have to rent a U-Haul again, that's for sure. <laughs> so without wasting time, let's go ahead and make the drive down here and pick up this trailer. Let's go. Pulling up to the house right now. <clears throat> I'm hoping he's got it out here ready to go. We've already kind of talked about price a little bit. I'm not gonna beat him up on price at all in person. We've already negotiated a little bit online so that we don't have to waste any time. We can just exchange cash, trailer, and be on our merry way. So we're pulling up right now. Let's uh, let's hopefully do this deal, see what happens. Let's go. Ah, I think I see it right over here. That looks to be it. We'll see how it looks in person. All right, so I think this is gonna work out pretty good. Uh, he's going inside right now to get some paper so we can write up a bill of sale. Structurally, it looks okay. I was happy to go ahead and just pay out a thousand bucks for it, but I did ask him to go 900 and he said yes. Uh, but I think it's gonna be a good buy. So let me go ahead, and he's coming out now, and wrap it up. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Talking on me, so my car's a titty. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. All right, well, I'm gonna put the wood down, raise it up to get it off this hitch. It's hard, but this is a very interesting and difficult place to back it into. But let's get it unhitched and uh, call it a day. Freedom. Ugh. All right, that's a wrap. It's home. It's parked. I'm done for the day. Woo! It is a cold and windy day, but I think we've got a hot prospect to take care of. So I recently saw a lady post on Facebook Marketplace a bunch of stuff for free. Uh, some things I'm gonna go put, try and pick up now, like a dresser and a nightstand. But I asked her this morning, like, hey, has anyone came to get it yet? And she said, no one has come and she needs this stuff gone. So I think I'm gonna go for a double 
dip here where I actually go pick up the two items for free and then I'm gonna offer her mission movers I'm gonna see if maybe uh, if she needs this stuff gone maybe she can pay me to get it all out for her and I can either take what's donatable and go donate it sell maybe what's sellable um, and then have to toss whatever whatever's you know left over so I don't want to waste any time she's she's waiting on me here I want to make sure I get there before anybody else can swoop in and take this stuff or offer her this kind of opportunity so let's go ahead load up the trailer now See what happens. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bench. Alright, now would be probably a good time to explain. So this lady posted the ad on Facebook saying everything in this apartment is for free. A lot of it looks older. I do like a dresser. I do like a nightstand. I think I can flip those. I, I, I don't know what her motivations are. And that's kind of why I'm going here to find out is that does she, does she need this stuff gone? Like is she just trying to get new furniture? Like is she moving? Is it a deceased like mother or father? You know what I mean? Something like that to where like she needs this stuff cleaned out. So I'm going to go and take the stuff that I want to help her out. But then I'm going to just pitch it to her and see like hey, if nobody else comes to this stuff and you need it gone, I also do hauling and junk removal. Let's go ahead, head here now. The trailer's hooked up. I, I kind of want to do this too because I want to see how well the trailer pulls uh, around town and stuff like that. So let's go ahead. We're almost there and uh, see what comes of this. I mean, this is going to be a real pain in the neck, I think, in a lot of ways because it's a two-story with no elevator. But, uh, you know, we've done worse. So <laughs> let's give it a shot. Let's go. Oh, it's because we're brand new. Oh. That's right. <laughs> oh, do you have big uh, no big vans. Just here, the truck and the trailer for now. Oh, okay. But we'll see. We'll see where it goes, right? Oh, what a nice lady. She said, I never heard of you. I don't know if the furniture itself is gonna be too worth the trip, but I did talk to her and I got some very exciting and important information to tell you guys as soon as it's done loading. So I don't wanna take much time trying to get all the cool angles. Let me just get all this out, get it loaded, and then tell you guys what just happened. This one's easy. It's just a little one. That was just easier to carry by hand. All right, this is the last piece. And then I gotta grab the mirror. And then we're gonna call it a day over here. So I can't wait to talk to you guys about what all this means. I gotta tell y'all, this went about as good as I possibly could have imagined it. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Corey, you spent a lot of time moving that furniture. And it's true. Let me check my time here. Yeah, that would be true. I've spent about an hour and a half driving here, uh, moving the furniture in, and then driving back. It'll be about an hour and a half to get that free bedroom set. I don't know how much it'll sell for. Maybe a hundred bucks. So, still not that bad for an hour's to work. But, like I predicted earlier, They've got to get all that stuff out. That unit is for sale and there's still a lot of furniture in there. And I told the lady, I said, hey, look, if you can get people to come and take it all for free, like I did today, go for it. If you can get Salvation Army or Goodwill or some of these places to come take all the stuff so you can donate it, do it, do it for free. But if you do need to pay a service to get the stuff out of here, 
call the national brands. Go ahead and call the big brands and then call me. And I gave her my cards. Call me afterward and I promise you I'll beat whatever price they give you. This is a lot less about the furniture and a lot more about getting mission movers more and more referrals, more and more clients, more and more reviews. Because at the end of the day, that is the business that is scalable. I like furniture flipping. I really like it. I think it's the best side hustle to start with, but it's also not as scalable as building an actual business. I guess I could get a store and all these other things, but that would require me still to source the items. At any rate, mission movers is something that could scale fairly large over time. And that's why I'm kind of diverting more of my focus into building that business than picking up more and more furniture and trying to do more and more flips, which I still am doing. Just that's not my my key focus going forward here, or at least right in this point in time. But let's go ahead. I'm going to go drop the stuff off at the storage unit real fast and then wrap up my day doing some other stuff here. So I'll catch back up with you guys soon when we've got some more developments. Hopefully she gives me a call here in the next couple days and we get some business going with this moving business. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, that's embarrassing. Pretend you didn't see that. Ah, you, I'm a professional. Here's the rocking chair. Insert rocking chair into truck. Deliver rocking chair to people. Get paid money. And here we go. Bro, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I almost stepped in this. That is cockadooky. And I don't know if that's human, raccoon, or what, dude, but I don't like it. I'm trying to, <clears throat> I need to get a discount on this month's rent. I've never had uh, fecal matter sitting in front of my storage unit. That's disgusting. I don't think it has any heads like messed up. Like it has to be taken to the dump, right? Then I have right. to, I have, I'd have to charge for that. Right. But often if it's things that maybe I can take them and, and just get them out and resell them to somebody, like yeah. then I'll do it yeah. for free. It, it just yeah. depends. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know if you guys caught that, but sold the chair, 85 bucks. I think I bought it. I'll put it on screen. I forgot what I bought it for. I think 25, maybe 35. Not a huge profit, but we sold that. And then also, she took about 15 cards for the hauling and junk removal. And one of these days, I'm going to get a big call off one of those referrals. All right, time to go coach. All right, everybody, we got somebody coming by right now to take a look at this big receptionist desk. And I really hope we can strike a deal because this thing's taking a lot of space. And uh, I know for a fact, I'm just not gonna make a lot of money on it. I think I've got it listed for like 170, maybe 160, and I bought it for like 80 bucks. So not gonna be a huge profit item, even if we sell it. But I do hope we can go ahead and sell it, make a little bit of money, and more importantly, clear out some space here to make room for some new sales that I hope to buy really soon. So let's go ahead and get it pulled out. They're gonna be here in probably like 10 minutes. Hopefully, make a sale. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so that works out pretty good. They came here, they liked it. I mean, I've got it priced really cheap for what it is, and they're gonna use it for a business they're opening. So they went ahead and left me a $20 deposit, and they're gonna come back in a few days to go ahead and pick it up. So that item is sold for $160. Uh, I forget what we bought it for exactly, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen. I think it's 80, but it might be 85. I'll put it up on the screen just to be sure. Uh, but like I said, not a huge profit. Good enough to have, but definitely happy to clear out that space. So. Let me go ahead, we got some things to take care of and we got some really big things happening very, very soon. So let me catch back up with you guys here in just a little bit once we got some stuff popping. Let's go. So as soon as I left here, someone messaged me on Facebook for that free bedroom set that I picked up. And again, I picked it up for $0 for free from somebody cleaning out a unit they are getting ready to sell. And they're arriving here now with a U-Haul and they're gonna buy this thing for $240. So I'm gonna make a really good profit because I had no cost. So I'm gonna buzz them in the front gate, get this stuff pulled out, and also make this sale today. And fate would have it that I'm also selling the free couch this evening too. So today's been a crazy day. I've been off work today, trying to build a fire pit at my house, but I had the person that wanted to buy the desk this morning. Then this afternoon, somebody wants to buy this bedroom set. And then this evening, somebody wants to buy that free couch. So I'll take it. I mean, when you add up all the profit, all this stuff, today's gonna be a $500 day. That's, I mean, I don't have every day like this, but a $500 day is pretty sweet, if you ask me. So let me go ahead, open up the unit, pull some stuff out, let them in the gate, and make the sale. Let's go.
20, 40, 140, 240, right there. So they are really excited about that set. And they were so excited, in fact, that I think they might know something about that set that I don't know. So maybe they're gonna turn around and sell it, I don't know. All I do know is that I am happy that I got $240 with the free set of furniture. Now, I want to say something about free furniture because I know people do a lot of this and free stuff goes like hotcakes if you ever see it on like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or whatever. I don't have a problem doing free stuff. I don't usually do it. What I don't like about people that sell things for free is when it's like intended for people that are in need. So my wife gives kids stuff away for free all the time like in mom's groups or whatever. And sometimes there's people that like infiltrate these groups that are buying them to resell them. And that kind of sucks because like kids toys and I, I'm just using that as an example, but you get the idea. There's stuff that's often for people that is meant to be given them in need. This bamboo set, the Frank, to be honest with you guys, that lady just wanted it out so they could sell that building. So I didn't feel bad about that at all because that's the other thing too. I would feel bad about like, really negotiating people down like super super hard or to, to give it away for free if my intention was to resell it and that ultimately is why i like auctions because the auction gets to make a commission off what they sell the people who can sign the items get rid of their item and get paid for them and then i get the item and get to resell it and make a little money and then whoever buys the item from me gets the item they want at a price that's better they would have bought it for anywhere else so that's just kind of like my two cents anyone can make their own decisions but that's just why i don't usually sell free stuff but yet here I am, just sold a free bedroom set. So at any rate, we made 240 bucks profit on that item. I've got that sofa over there that I'm gonna sell this evening, which again, really funny story about that. I picked up that sofa for free. Again, another free item. I know you guys think I'm a hypocrite, but I got that item for free because I just wanted the mattress. I just wanted the clean, nice mattress in there to put on top of that um, Cindy Crawford sleeper sofa that I bought at the auction a couple, couple weeks ago. And I was gonna trans transplant the mattress, but it turns out that's a pretty nice sofa. And I posted it for a hundred or 200 bucks just to see if anyone would be interested in it. And sure enough, I got someone driving an hour and a half this evening to come pick up that sofa for 180 bucks. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, wrap it up. Like I said, I'm not working today. It is a day off and I still wanna build a fire pit. So what I'm gonna do is go work on the fire pit and then come meet them here later this evening and rake this sale. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're heading over right now to the storage unit. We've got those guys that are coming all the way from Orlando to buy this couch that I had gotten for free. Again, we had it listed for like 200, but they're coming today to buy it for 180. So let's go ahead, hop in the truck, go over the storage unit, make the sale happen. All right, guys, there you have it. We made some good sales this episode, made a lot of money, and uh, bought this trailer here. So I know you guys want to talk about the net worth. Let's talk about all the revenue we made, all the expenses we had, and how that impacts the new channel net worth now. Let's do that. All right, let's go ahead and get comfy for a little bit. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the revenue first, because frankly, it's a bit more exciting than the expenses. So we had total sales of $685. Now that includes the big reception desk, that includes the rocking chair, and those two free pieces of furniture that we got, which was the sofa and also that bedroom set too. So total sales, 685. Now we bought this trailer for $900 and we had to register it. So we got some fees to come out of this thing too. This episode, we had the registration fee for this new trailer of $130. We also had the storage unit come out, that's $175. We spent throughout this whole thing, $35 in gas. And we also upgraded our truck insurance because someone had made a good point on here before that I need to go ahead and classify my truck insurance as business as well as personal. So my new truck insurance came out and it's a bit more expensive. It was $118 this month. So that gives us an entire total expense this episode of $458. So we had some sales and we had some expenses and we had a very small profit when you subtract the expenses from our revenue, but that did leave us a profit. And when you add that profit to the initial channel net worth, we have a new channel net worth of 10,000 
$555. I put a full financial breakdown in the description. So if you guys wanna see how much cash we have or how much of that net worth is tied up in the truck or trailer, that's all in the description, the description below. So definitely take a look. As always guys, I appreciate you stopping by and watching so, so much. These videos are so fun for me to make and uh, definitely please always don't forget to go ahead and like the video to help this thing out in the algorithm and I'll catch you guys next week. Let's go.